Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 26 of the RPG Maker series. Last time, I was working on the basement to the fortress outpost dungeon. Um, I'm going to cover that briefly, and then we're going to jump into the second floor. So let's head over. All right, I've added a few lights to the thing. Uh, I changed up the door frame because I was pretty sure that that what I had wasn't going to work. Um, I also moved the jailer out here. Um, you need now, you need the captain key or I'm not actually sure what I'm going to give the captain, but you need to defeat him in order to get in here. I also put uh, an event on each of the doors so that when you defeat the Jailer, if you come over here and touch them, all the doors open. Um, since there's not an animation for them the way there is for this one down here by the treasure room, I just have it fade out and make a sound and then fade in with the pixels missing or removed. I'm thinking the way I want it to work is that if you do that, come to the doors and remove them. You can talk to all of the civilians, all of the townspeople, and they'll tell you you have to defeat the captain on the second floor. If you go and defeat the captain on the second floor, I want to set up an event so all the townspeople disappear from the dungeon. And then they'll come back to the village and appear there. Uh, the same event will trigger... So it'll do two different things, depending. The problem I have right now, I did not set it up, is that if you go and defeat the captain, and then come back down here, but you didn't interact with the prison cells, these doors will still be shut, but all of the townspeople will be missing. So I need... On the events, well, well, let me change it. There we go. Instead of a control switch, uh, open the door, delete, well, delete the doors or whatever. I need a, let's see. I think what I need, let's go to edit. Come on, edit. Edit. Oh boy, really? You're going to do that to me? Okay, well, let's add a new one in. What I think I need is a conditional branch. Creates a portion to be run only when specific conditions are met. So if you have the jailer key, which I haven't set up yet either, it looks like. Huh. Yeah, I haven't set up. All right, I'll have to do that. Um, if you have the jailer key, the doors will open. If you trigger the event with the captain but these doors are still closed. They will also open when the townspeople leave. That way you don't run into that problem because, you know, it's possible for players to sequence break. And I need to be on top of it. It's the same problem I had with the, with the item and equipment shop in, uh, was it Ulta? So I'm gonna have to do a little finagling with the doors. I could just leave the doors shut, not give the jailer any kind of key item, and leave it tied into the captain. So when he's defeated, the doors will open and the townspeople will disappear. I What I don't want to do, let me go back to the second floor. We can work on that while I ruminate. What I don't want to do is have, let's see, width? Uh, 30? We can always back it down. Same with height. We'll go to 20 on that one. Yeah, that's better. What I don't want to do is force the player to come back downstairs to the basement to talk to the townspeople before you can trigger them to go back to town. It just seems like a lot of unnecessary walking. Just have them leave as soon as the captain's defeated. The whole point is... They can't get out of the jail cell. Ah, uh, what did I do for the first floor? Where is that? There it is. Um, and 
and I'll have... I'll have it like this, and then I'll have... Yeah, we can actually collapse it in with the walls. What I... What was I saying? <sighs> I can't remember. I just... I made myself forget what I was saying. Um... Yeah, I don't want to leave these doors open. It's just a small thing, but if somebody checked it... I don't want... That's right, that's right. That was what I was trying to say. I don't want the players... to be forced... to... have to go back downstairs once the... once the boss of this area is defeated. It just... It's just unnecessary busy work. Really. It's just unnecessary busy work. Okay, so this is the top floor... And I guess I could have... I could have some opening in the background, maybe. Hmm. Let me do... Let me do this. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna delete the outside. And then... Let's see. Edit? Uh, parallax. Sure. Well, we're on a mountain. Or a hilltop. I'm gonna do... Hmm... I like that one better. Loop, loop... No, we don't need to worry about that. No scroll... Yeah, okay. So I'd like it to be in the background, but I guess I need... Yeah, I need that for the background. Okay. So... Yeah, okay, if it doesn't... I, I like that, but if it seems like it's too small, I can always... Yeah, if it seems like it's too small, I can always make the map bigger. That's not an issue. Um... Let's see, I need the stairs over here. Let me look at the bottom floor. So the stairs go up this way. Do I want it in the middle? I want like a... I want like a small tower over here. Isolated from the rest. Uh, let me... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not happy with a square, but let me get what I'm going for. Yeah, I'm not happy with a square. Let me get what I'm going for, and then... I also was thinking, with this especially, that there would be like a... Right there. there there'd be like a... What am I trying to say? Um, that actually should be more like this. Um, corridor. That's the word I'm thinking of. There'd be a corridor around the top floor where archers could look out over windows. Uh, if I could find some good windows. No, these are all doors. Maybe this one? No, that's too big. The door. I don't think there are any good windows in a dungeon. Well, these, I guess. Yeah. That would have been good in the dungeon, but I mean, it's underground. It doesn't make any sense that it's underground. Plus, it doesn't make any sense that it's in the ceiling like that. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's not going to work. I like this better. That's kind of what I was going to go for. Like that. And then there will be entrances here. And then there will be rooms in the center. Let me go. Uh, so, like, uh, let's say this is the tower here. Then there'd be, you come out here, and there might be, hmm, there might be an entrance right there for the corridor, and then, like that, well, I need to make, yeah, that's not gonna work, that'll work. There'll be an entrance here. Um, I'm probably only going to put one door here, if I put any at all. And that'll be the captain's quarters, which I'm thinking will be over here somewhere. So, like, there could be a room here. And then... Let me see here. Where is it? There it is. 
Could be like an entrance there for that. Um, the captain's room. Hmm. We'd have something. I want a door. Hmm. Yeah, I'm torn now, because, uh... I want the rooms... I'm gonna have to make the second floor bigger. I'm just gonna have to. It, it's not gonna work otherwise, but, uh... I could have, like, this. Uh, and then just an open space here. And this one could be... No, no, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's back up. There we go. We could have it like that. Uh, hmm. I don't like that either. I do like the idea that it's open. Like that. Uh, this one, like that. This one, like that. And maybe like that. And then... The problem is if I do this for the captain's room, the door... I, I can't get sideways doors. Uh, going to events. Just put it in the middle there. Door, 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 door. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I can get a sideways door. If I use... Well, I'll use one of these. If I use one of these... I can't get a sideways door. Discard changes... Yeah. I can't get a sideways door, so it has to be top-down. I suppose... The corridor up here doesn't have to be... Yeah, it doesn't have to bleed into there. Maybe... Let me... Let me, uh... Erase that. There we go. And maybe I could have... Like that. Um... Which means we'd get rid of this, really. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I still have a problem with the... Okay, alright, hold on. If I do... Well? I don't know. Yeah, this is the problem I have. I suppose I could do this and just get rid of this... Well, maybe not even that. If I do... I put the door there, and then the captain's room is here. Uh, yeah. That's looking better. So, yeah, I would definitely... I would definitely put two soldiers here at this either end, and they'll collapse in on the player when they walk through there, right before the boss fight. Where did I do with the... Was it actors, or was it people? Where are the soldiers? Where are all my sol- There we are. Okay, yeah. And then I have this one here. Same thing. People. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Yeah. Um, I could also have a soldier marching through the corridor here and on the bottom. Um, maybe another one hiding in one of these rooms. Like, if you come up over here, there could be one hiding in this room, or just milling about. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, plus the captain makes four. If I had five and six, walking back and forth, yeah, yeah, that'll work. All right, so let me put the captain in, pick an actor for him. So I've used, I've used the guy in red, um, I've used these guys for soldiers. There was one other one who looked different enough that I used him for the jailer. If I can find him. Some of these I gotta get- oh, yeah, it was this one over here. He's the jailer. I made him the jailer. So, I could change that, cuz, thinking about it, the jailer might be better served as one of these two guys. Um, and this might be better as a captain. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, and I think the Jailer shouldn't be decked out in full 
plate armor like this, but the captain, the commander, could be. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put him in. Uh, so I need to decorate. I also don't want a perfect square like this. Let me look at the bottom floor again. How did it go? Yeah, this side's wider. We can have the captain's room over here. The tower collapses over here, and we can have it march across as the arrow slits. Down here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was my... 30, 23. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top one. 23. There we go. Alright. Yeah, that gives me a lot... That that's separates out this little uh, corridor here. Gives me a lot more room on the bottom. Let me make more floor space then. There, there we go. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure I'm getting... Okay. Because I've done that before. Let's see. It doesn't have to be a perfect square. So we'll collapse some of this in. What about... And it doesn't have to be a perfect square up here, either. Um... So let's get rid of... Get rid of all this. Actually, you know what? I want to leave... Well, it doesn't really match... It, it doesn't really match the top here. I... I don't suppose it has to match the top. But if there's a change in the floor plans, it's definitely going to look weird. Definitely. The walls and stuff don't have to be the same, but the outer wall does. It's not like a magical building where it's bigger on the inside. Oh boy, that's a problem. Copying it directly... Ooh, I just made it harder for myself. Okay, so... I want it... I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, as I've said. It doesn't have to be exact, but we'll cut that there. Um, I think it's two spaces down here. Like... Like this? Yeah, it just goes straight up. Okay. Well, the top also doesn't have to... Uh, hanging out over the ground floor is one thing. But having more... Having less ground space up... Making it n smaller up top. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Making it so that uh, there's more... Like this. Making less... Oh boy, what am I trying to say? Taking the ground floor and covering... I really don't know how to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Take the space here, put the second floor on top of it, but get rid of some of the open floor with the thick walls and stuff. I guess we could do that. I just want it to not be a one-for-one -one copy. So that's... Hmm. Like that? Is that how that works? I think so. It goes 2-2. Two, two. Uh, really, I think the problem is that there's two spaces from the bottom, and I've only got one, so it'd go right here. Oh, uh, where did I do with that? It would be... Two spaces from the bottom, right? Did I... Oh, until over here at the edge. Hmm. Okay. So, I come over here, we've got, like this. Right, okay. Okay, and then it just goes straight up. That, alright. So over here there's, it's just open. It's just open. Okay. There go. I'm going to have to get rid of this shadow. It uh, won't be there in the final product, like it is on the ground here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Over. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I got that locked away. Um, I think that's wrong anyways. Yeah, because it goes two and then... All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was wrong. It also doesn't have to be too thick like this. I'm actually going to get rid of this. That. That's just the ground floor. This could be... This could be just that thick. Um, let's see what else. It goes over, and then there's a big opening here, but we don't have to worry about that. That's where the door is. Let's see. So it's two over, two up, two over, two up. All right, so that's actually that. All right. And then that one. There we go. Okay. So I've given myself some room to play with over here. This is not the same. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, that's two down. Not one. Well, okay then. And it probably goes over further, right? From here to here? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Ooh, oh boy. Oh boy. So the tower is smaller than I wanted it to be right now. It's actually not that bad, really. Um I'm thinking Yeah, but I want to do something with this space other than just close it off like that. Let's, um, I'm okay with that, but more like that, I think. Me, I want that one, I want that one. Uh, I'll get rid of that. Yeah, okay. So let me put these stairs there before I forget. Um, nope, nope. Uh, let's see, they come up there. Yeah, I can just have them right there. That's fine. Okay. Now what? Well, I'm going to need to open up the floor plan a little. Let me save first. Now that I've got that out of the way, let me save. So what I could do is do that and then make it thicker. That. Could. Uh, I could. And then I could do the same up here, like that. Let's actually get rid of you. Thank you. Hmm. I don't like that being there. Eh, whatever. It's not bad. I can't make any use of the space, but, uh, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Now I want the rest of this floor space cleaned up so I can rejigger the whole thing. Alright. Do I want to do it this way? I don't think that's right. Hold on. Comes down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Crap. All right. I did do it wrong. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, I did decide not to go with the extra floor here. Just make it smaller. So... That doesn't need to be down there. One, two, three, four. I just want to make sure. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. That's okay. That's all right. Something like that, I think. 
Eh, it's alright. I was gonna have it narrow here anyways, so it's alright. There we go. Yeah, second floor is a lot smaller than I thought it should be. Um, maybe what I'll do is get rid of this part and make the room part of the um, part of the walkway. So you come out the door here as the player. You step over here. And then I could have I could have it like like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So you can walk this way or you can walk that way. And then there'll be some guy down here. Just minding his own business. Um, and then I can have a room. Let's see. If you come out here, there should be a room here. Let me think. If I do... Like that... Yeah, that's nothing. Um, and then, whoop, 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 like that. That's just a lot of wasted space. If I have, hmm, well, what if I do? Yeah, okay. I will... There we go. And then... That there. And put that there. And what did I do with the windows? This one. Right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, so... That's actually a great... Oh! Huh. I'm just thinking, I don't even need this extra floor. I could just have it, the whole thing look like this to give the impression. I do want a guy back here, though. Maybe a treasure chest as well. Uh, I'm okay with this. It's just that the windows are bothering me. Their placement in the wall. More than that, I'm actually, hold on. I'm going to try something because that is bothering me. What if I do? Nope. Nope, too low. Okay, well, that sucks. What if I do... Hmm, no. What if I try... No. No. Yeah, it, it just, it's, it's a terrible placement for where it's at. Okay. All right. Still okay with this, but if I put... If I seal this off, like that. Yeah, then this becomes a tiny little storage room and I can have a treasure chest here. I did want... I suppose I could do... I suppose I could do that. And then... Hmm... Like that. The problem is the captain's room just throws the whole thing off. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. The captain's room can be down here. I think that'll be better. Just for the flow. Let me put, uh... Let me put that there. go. I do like that better. I like that much better. I like that much better. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Alright. And we can have... We can have a guy back here. We can have a treasure chest over here. We can have... Um, we can have some stuff in here. And I can put the captain's room down here instead with a door. Uh, I do need to get rid of that then. Oop, too far. Okay. So you come down here and there's this bottom thing. I wonder if I should put... It makes sense over here, but not over here, right? It just doesn't make sense that those would be there. 
because you should be able to see in to the floor on the other side. It would look more like one of these. I can't really get... Yeah, I can't. That's a shame. There's no window thing. There's no way for me to... Yeah, because I can't do this and then put a window over the top of it. Yeah, there might be a way to make it with an event, but what about one of these? What is that? Oh, it's just a light. Wow, really? I can think of a few uses for that if I had known that earlier. Something like that would probably work better over here, like this. If it wasn't cloudy outside, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, too far. Oh, boy. Really? Well, no, because I'm not going to put windows over there. That's the problem, though. That really is the problem, because I want windows. It would make sense that there'd be windows here. I. It's just... Visually, it doesn't work because there's no ground on the other side of the window. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. The whole idea is that they're there. I'll, I'll leave it. And I do like, it, it makes it different than other tower fort things that I'm going to put in later in the game. Um, it does also mess up, putting this here does mess this guy up and this guy. I had intended, let me cut, put him right there. He'll probably get moved over also. And then, of course, the captain, commander, gets put over here. Uh, let's go back and finish this. So I'm not happy with this now. I'm okay with that, but uh, I think, yeah, like that. Hmm... So I want a room here. I suppose I could split it like that. You can walk down. Well, no, leaving that space open is fine. Um, actually, oh, yeah, okay. I'm actually gonna opt to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna put, uh... No, no. I'm actually going to seal it off on this side. Ah, it's so tiny right there. I just can't fit it. Well, what if I change the floor here? Maybe, maybe that's better. Uh, let's see. What am I trying to put here? I want to make that a thing. Maybe... Hmm. Kind of hard to make it a room when I don't have room for it. Oh! I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a little more room-ish, I think. Um. Hmm. So you can come down here this way. You can keep going this way. So maybe I should have. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see my problem here. It is gonna make this super cramped. There's no point in putting this here. No point in putting that there, because there's no way... Ugh, brother. It's just too tiny of a room. It serves no purpose. I was thinking it could be like um, a storage room. Or... Like... I, I really don't know. I was thinking I could put stuff in there. Uh, maybe even a cot or something like um, nurses have a break room where they can crash 
on long shifts. Um, and there's beds for the dungeon that I could use. Or even a table and chairs when guys are on their break or waiting for their shift to start or something. But, ah, it's just so small of a room. And I need to have it open because I want the rest of the... The rest of the corridor here to work. It's just so small of a room. Maybe... Maybe it would work better like this. Maybe it would work better like that. And just do... Yeah... That actually would work better. Yeah, that, that works better. So they can come down here this way. Uh, they can still man the windows with arrow shafts. I mean, it's still accessible. They aren't going to be doing that, but I'm thinking the history of the fort, defenders could come up here and stick their arrows through the windows and shoot. Uh, so when it was built, this is still accessible. And then I can make this one. And then the commander's room over here. Um, and then I can add some decoration in here. And it's big enough for two guys to just crash. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Uh, I, want the, I want the two guys to face off like this. And when you walk through that they collapse on you. Surprise! Um, what about, hmm, just has to, yeah, but I don't, um, uh, No, I don't want it. Well, yeah, just being across from there. Let's see how big it is if I when I add the walls in. Up, 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 up. There we go. I gotta add that. I gotta add the wall there. I gotta add the wall there. And that means I gotta add the wall there. It's just so cramped. I really didn't give myself a whole lot of room here. And now the commander's room is just borked. All right, all right, all right. What if I take out? Let me add this in because I'm probably going to leave that. Uh, and I like the I like the way it does the wraparound like that. Completely unnecessary, but it'll frustrate the player, which is my goal. Um, where was the rope floor? All right. Okay. Okay. This commander's room has given me a heck of a headache. I wish I could just make the door there. So the player comes over here, steps this way. I can just move this up. No, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. If I get rid of, if I get rid of this. I have this whole room. Now, this could be the war room. In addition to being the captain, the, the commander's private room. And I could separate it. The war room down here and the captain's room up here. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let me... Here we go. Put that there. Okay. I think that, that'll work. I think that'll work. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Cut, paste. Okay. So, the player will walk over here, get ambushed by these two guys. And you can come down here, and there will probably be a guy down here. But there's no way in. All right. Well, then we'll have to come up here. And then it's left or right. Uh... 
Wright takes you to the captain. Coming up here, there's another guy waiting for you up here, and he'll ambush you. There will be a treasure chest up here. Right. I, I'll put a guy down here to fight, but no way in. I'll put a guy up here, but I'll also put a treasure chest up here, like over here, maybe. Um, and then we can put El Capitan, delete. I'll put him in here. That'll work. I think that'll work. I'm pleased with the way this is looking so far. Yeah, I'm pleased with the way this looks. I think that's okay. I'm going to add... Let's see, the player comes down here, down and around, walks there. Okay, we'll put we'll put the soldier right there. I think that'll work. There we go. And then we'll put a treasure chest up here. So the player comes up and they go left or right. Left. There's another entrance. Left or right. You walk over here, nothing. You walk over here. How far, how far would I be willing to go before I turn around and say nuts to this? Right about, right about here, I think, is probably as far as I would go before I'm like, ah, there's nothing over here, forget it. So we'll have, there we go. And then I'll have a treasure chest against the far wall here. I know it doesn't make any sense that it's here, rather than in a storage room or something, but you gotta give the player something for the efforts. Plus, I'm making the corridor, so I might as well. Chest, um, I've been doing these metal ones for this outpost, so I'll keep doing that. Yeah. Okay. And then the captain. What am I going to do about the captain's room? It's smaller than I wanted it to be, but at the same time, not too bad. Where was... There he is. There we go. All right. Let me change... I don't remember. He's the quartermaster, and I'm okay with that. You're the one I need to change. Okay. So who am I going to use for the Jailer? I like this guy. I don't like the green quite as much. The old soldier here, I have plans elsewhere. Not in this dungeon, but it's just elsewhere. Yeah, I'm going to use the red, the guy in red. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right. Um, so... One, two, three, four, five. I want one more somewhere. Maybe over here. Maybe. Maybe up here. No, I just want the treasure chest up here. I'll just put the treasure chest up here. I know there's an easier way. Hold on, let me cancel this out. Because there is an easier way to do treasure. If I go to quick event, treasure, and then just pick the image from that. Uh, we'll do that one. And then I can set what I want here. I'm I'm giving the player plenty of gold in the basement. So we'll just go with... I'm also giving... Let's see. Three... I want, by the end of this dungeon, three pieces of armor, at least two weapons, and... Maybe I'll give some potions. What kind of potions should I give? The weakest kind or the mid? I think the middle kind would be nice to have. A half potion? Yeah, we'll, we'll do one of those. And then we have to go in and actually add more. Um, change item. We'll do mystic water small. Yeah. Okay, good. And then I need to add that in. Actually, um, and I don't like the way the the quick setup does that. Um, I like you found better. And a Mystic Water S, was it? I can't remember what I named the item. Mystic Water 
Yes. There we go. You found an H potion and a Mystic Water S. I'm not married. Yeah, Mystic Water S. I'm not married to the idea of naming them those. But for right now, it helps me distinguish between the three different types. All right, so that's fine. So you'll get two relatively useful items there. This one, I'm thinking it'll be a piece of equipment. Uh, let me go back down here. So we have this one, which will be a weapon. We have these foot lockers, and I'll have items and gold in that. This one, which I think will be a piece of armor. This one, which will be items. And then gold in most of these, as well as another piece of equipment and some more items. Hmm. These two will have golden items. This one, I think, will have a weapon. That'll have a weapon or a piece of armor. That'll have a piece of armor. That'll have item. Oh, I forgot I added this. Yeah, an H potion. Uh, this one will have armor. This one will have... Hmm. Well, if I'm doing that, I, I didn't realize I had that in there. I must have added that on a whim. So I'll go to the second floor and change this. Edit to be... Yeah. I want it to be visually distinctive to the player what carries equipment, what carries weapons, and what carries items. Uh, gold. Gold is... Uh, I'll just leave that up to whatever strikes my fancy. Either type of chest could have it. I also... As a last thought, I'm going to go back to the mountain pass. You remember that I was doing color-coded chests for some of the chests. Blue here, green there, for class-specific upgrades or items or weapon. Well, weapons are not a big deal. But um, I was going to keep doing that, so I could come back here and change one of these metal chests to a color chest. I haven't settled on what I'm going to be giving the players yet, though. That's the thing. When I figure that out, then I might change one of them. I figure for the warrior, being the only person who can wear heavy armor, he'll get a red chest. I just don't know where I'm going to put that. Maybe I'll put that... Um, maybe I'll make this one the red chest. You do have to defeat the quartermaster to get through the door, so it's it is a reward in that sense. Uh what did I put in there? Short sword? Nah. I'll leave that the way it is. I'll put it in the uh I'll put it in the dungeon right there. Red. They should be they should be more special, I think. I think. The colored coated chest should be something the player is actively eager to put themselves in harm's way for. All right. I think that's good. I think that is a good stopping point for this episode. I didn't get very far, just the layout of the floor, but I hashed out some things in my own mind that helped me set this up. We'll put banners up. We'll put lights up. We'll flesh out one more dude, and then we'll do floor decorations next episode. Yeah, okay. So until then, thank you everyone for joining me. Stay safe, and God bless you.